Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Chennai Chicken Wings. That's right, it's been a while since we posted one of our epic oven fried spicy chicken wing recipes. In fact, it's been so long, no one uses the term epic anymore. But I think that word is pretty appropriate here. Not only used to describe the technique, but also the taste, which was inspired by an appetizer called Chennai Chicken, served at one of my favorite Indian restaurants in town. And I'll let you know who I'm ripping off this time in the blog post. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with our spicy coating. And we'll begin that with equal parts of cornstarch and rice flour. So yes, in case it matters, these wings are going to be gluten-free. And then to our starchy base, we'll go ahead and add a ton of spices, beginning with a big old spoon of cayenne. Oh yeah, we're not going to be shy here with the seasonings. We will also toss in some paprika, as well as some ground cumin, and a spoon of something called garam masala which is sort of like a curry spice blend. It's got a lot of different things in there. And I will also give you more info about that on the blog. But anyway, we'll continue on with a spoon of turmeric, as well as some freshly ground black pepper. And then last but not least, a very generous amount of salt. And we'll go ahead and take a whisk and mix this thoroughly. And that's it, our Chennai chicken spicy coating blend is done. And we'll simply set that aside and move on to the second thing we should prep ahead of time. And that would be our spicy onion ginger rice vinegar, which not surprisingly is gonna start with rice vinegar, to which I'm gonna add some very finely sliced ginger and red onions. And by the way, feel free to grate that ginger if you don't wanna show off your knife skills. I also tossed in a little bit of chive and then finished up with some hot pepper in two forms. We will do some dried flakes as well as a spoon of sambal, which is basically a sauce made from crushed chilies and we'll go ahead and stir that together. And if we want, we could add other things to this, such as garlic or chopped green onions, or maybe an herb like cilantro. All right, so don't be afraid to tweak this. You are, after all, the buddy guy of your chennai. So add whatever you think strikes the right chord. And then what we'll do once our vinegar sauce is mixed up is set it aside and move on to final production. So into our spice blend, we'll go ahead and dump our split wings, which, as you know, are simply whole wings that have been cut in half into what we call in the business the drums in the flats. And we'll go ahead and give that a mix until they're all thoroughly coated, which you could do just by tossing them with the tongs. But if there was a recipe that ever called for the old flip and toss, this is it. So don't be afraid to grab that bowl and repeatedly toss those ingredients into the air. You know, like you just don't care. Until, like I said, you are confident they are thoroughly, thoroughly coated. And what we'll do once that's set is go ahead and transfer this onto some kind of baking sheet. And this time I decided to try one of these pans with the nonstick coating. But you could certainly use a regular baking sheet lined with parchment or foil, or even a silk pad. But anyway, we'll go ahead and place those down, evenly spaced, and of course not too, too close to each other. And then once those are panned up before we pop them in the oven, what we'll do is drizzle over just a little bit of vegetable oil. Right, just literally a few drops on each. And by the way, in case you're wondering, this is only half a batch that I will cook for filming purposes. And I will finish off the rest later. So we'll go ahead and drizzle on just a little bit of oil, at which point these are ready for the first half of the baking. So we'll go ahead and transfer those into the center of a very hot 450 degree oven for 15 minutes, at which point we're going to pull them out and turn them over and brush them with a little bit of ginger oil, which we'll make right now. It only takes a couple seconds, since it's nothing more than some grated ginger with some vegetable oil stirred in, and sure, you probably could have applied that ginger right to the chicken, but I decided to use this approach instead and thought it worked out very well. And what we'll do once that's set is pull out our wings, which have now cooked for 15 minutes. And we'll go ahead and turn those over. And yes, they're already looking pretty good, but it's going to get even better. Because what we're going to do once those are flipped is go ahead and brush on that ginger oil we just freshly made. And I'm actually only going to brush it on one side. And the reason for that is that's how I did it the first time, and it was so perfect, I didn't want to change. So we'll go ahead and brush that over, at which point we will pop our wings back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes, or until they're completely cooked through, and look a little something like this. Oh yeah, those look good, and very spicy. And then what I like to do as soon as these come out, is go ahead and flip them over, so that the dry side facing up is now facing down into that extremely flavorful oil. And I will let them sit resting like that for maybe three or four minutes, at which point we are ready to serve. Right after we check to see if we got a nice crust using that oven fry method. So 
So that sounds very nice and like something I would enjoy eating, which I will do now. And like all oven fried wing recipes, there's two ways you can enjoy these, dry or wet. And for the wet method, what we do is throw some still hot wings into a bowl and then spoon in some of the sauce and then toss those around until coated, at which point we can go ahead and plate up, maybe scattering some of those pieces of onion and ginger over the top. And that's it. That would be our Chennai chicken wings wet style. So let me go in for a taste, which really was amazing. And by the way, do not even think of making this recipe without the vinegar sauce, since that's what really activates all the spices in the chicken. All right, without that kick of heat and acid, these would not even be close to as delicious. So be sure to make plenty of that stuff. But anyway, that's me enjoying these wet. Or of course, if we want, we can enjoy these dry, which simply means we serve them up on a plate with the sauce next to them. And what I find so fun about this recipe, and what drew me to the original appetizer I based this on, is the way the spices and flavors build as you eat it. I mean, it's spicy and tasty when you first start, but as you eat these, that just builds and builds and builds into a huge crescendo until you almost think it's too much. But then you realize there is no such thing as too much. There is only not enough. And if you're thinking, man, those look good, and I would enjoy those, but my friends and family are kind of picky, and they'll just want regular buffalo-style chicken wings. Well, you know what? Too bad. You make these anyway. And anyone that doesn't like them does not get invited back next year. Hey, that's just tough love. But it's actually not going to be a problem. Because when people taste these and realize how addictively delicious they are, they will very much appreciate you turning them onto it. But anyway, wet or dry, whether you make these for a Super Bowl party or some other festive occasion, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.